is the major product of the following reaction? Well, first of all, what kind of reaction do we have here? We see a benzene ring and we see the reagent HNO3 H2SO4. This reaction is called nitration and it is specific for the benzene ring and it adds an O2 group on the benzene ring. So that's the first part. Now, where would our NO2 uh, will be added if we have two substituents on the benzene ring already? We have this alcohol group and we also have this ethyl group. So how would we know where the third substituent will, will, will attach to? In order to do that, we will have to look at the chart that I will show you shortly and we will have to identify what kind of uh, groups are on the benzene ring already. Are they activating or are they deactivating? And which group is the strongest activator? The group that is the strongest activator will determine where the third group will go. So let's go ahead and look at the chart. We will first look for OH. So here's my chart and I have to find where in this chart do I have OH. This is a chart, a chart that shows different kind of groups that can be on the benzene ring and whether they are activators or deactivators and what kind of activators and deactivators are they are they weak moderate or strong this chart also shows whether your group is ortho director or meta director so the first group that we have on that we have on the benzene ring is oh and we see it here and it is a strong activator the second group that we had on the on the benzene ring was an ethyl group. An ethyl group is a hydrocarbon chain, so it would be our group R here. R is any hydrocarbon chain. Now we have to ask ourselves, who is going to win? Who is stronger? Who is the better activator? And according to this chart, it's the OH. So we will only pay attention to OH. OH will tell us where the third group will go. Now, we also can look at the chart and see that OH is an orthoparadirector. All of these, all of these are orthoparadirectors. So now let's go back and see where's the ortho and pair this uh, position on the group, on the benzene ring for the OH group. So this is our alcohol and we said that that's the one we're going to pay attention to because it's the strongest activator out of the two groups present on the benzene ring. Now if we also said that this is ortho para director. Para position is position opposite of the, of the group given. So para position for this OH would be right here but this position is already taken so it's impossible to attach our uh, NO2, our um, third group in the pair position. So the only position that is left is ortho. It could be to the left or to the right. It really doesn't matter because it will be the same product. So I am going to go ahead, draw my benzene ring, put my OH group and my CH2, CH3 group and my NO2 is going to go in the ortho position which is next to the OH and here's my NO2. So this must be the product of this reaction. Next let's just figure out what is the correct name for this. Well a benzene ring with OH on it is called a phenol. So we have here phenol so we can cross out this one. Oops. And next we can just number, once we have um, three groups or more, we cannot use ortho pairs, so we will have to number and we will say this is one, two, three, and four. So my nitro, my nitro group is on the second carbon and my ethyl group is on the fourth carbon. Therefore, my answer should be four ethyl, two nitro, phenol, they didn't give phenol, all means alcohol. They didn't give a number to it, signifying that it is one. So my answer should be the first one. Let me go ahead and just um, say again how we did this reaction so that you are very clear. Basically, if you have a benzene ring with two or more different groups on it, to figure out where the third group will go, you have to 
look up the groups that are on the benzene ring in the chart and determine which group is the most activating. Then you have to pay attention to that group only and uh, you will have to, that group will direct where your third substituent will go. In our case, the group was OH, the substituent was NO2, and it had to attach ortho pair, pair position was taken, so we attached it ortho. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in more of my organic chemistry and general chemistry videos.